Let's look at this quickly. I want to read the whole chapter, so have mercy on me. Hebrews chapter 1, from verse 1 to 14. God who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets. Now, remember, he's saying God in the past spoke various ways, not one way, yes. various ways to our fathers and the, prophets. and the prophets. Now, we will look at how he spoke to the prophets. Okay? Then he goes on to say, Has in these last days spoken to us by his son, and in these last days he has spoken to us by his what? His, his son. son uh -huh. Whom he has appointed heir of all things. Uh -huh. Through whom also he made the world. Stop right there, Apostle. Mm -hmm. So in now modern times, God speaks to us through his son. son. Now you tell me, did Jesus come and, and tell you, give your life to me? But still God is speaking through his son. Yeah. Uh, you didn't understand what I'm saying. Very few people have had encounters with the Lord mm -hmm. through visions, through dreams, some people physically. Are, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. So he's saying in modern times, God is speaking to us through his son. And people will say, we don't need any prophets because God has spoken to us through his son. But after his son left, the apostles were speaking. Yeah. <laughs> so what does it mean God has spoken to us through his son? He's saying, who has delivered the message? In the beginning was the Father, or we can say God, delivering his message to his prophets. And then God manifested in the flesh so that we can know him, behold his glory, so that we can be more intimate with him. Yeah. So that now we will speak the message of the Lord, which is what? Grace, Grace. mercy, salvation, reconciliation unto God. Yeah. And also repentance, mm. right? Yeah. So understand the context. Keep going, Apostle. Whom he has appointed her to of all things, mm -hmm. through whom also he made the worlds, mm -hmm. who being the brightness of his glory mm -hmm. and the express image of his person, mm -hmm. and upholding all things by the word of his power, mm -hmm. whom he had by himself mm -hmm. purged our sins, mm -hmm. sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, mm -hmm having become so much better than the angels. Wait, why are angels being mentioned? <laughs> this is talking to us about how God spoke to us yeah. and how in modern times he's speaking to us through his son. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is not being mentioned. <laughs> all of a sudden, He's being compared to yeah, angels. Yeah. Why are angels being plugged into this story? Why are they being plugged into this passage? Mm. Read that verse again, Apostle. Um, it says, he had by himself purged out sin, mm -hmm. sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, mm -hmm. having become so much better than the angels, uh -huh. as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Notice this. Still comparing him to angels. Because of what he went through, mm -hmm. he is better than the angels. Because he has obtained a better, a name, better name than them. An excellent name. An yeah. excellent name than them. Yes. Now remember, it is speaking about the Lord Jesus in his humanity. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's speaking about the Lord Jesus in his humanity. Yeah. Why is it comparing him to angels? Number one, because angels have always been the in-between people between us and God. God. Remember their name. Malak means messenger. Mm -hmm. Meaning whenever God wanted to communicate and whenever God wants to communicate, he will communicate through what? His angels. And some people say, ah, but this and this. No, the Holy Spirit was always there. Who did Moses meet on the mountain? Mm. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah. I will surprise you. Yes. I will surprise you and you will be shocked. So you imagine... He has obtained a better name and he has become better. Meaning there is a point. 
man was not better than angels. Are you hearing me? Notice we are comparing better, not worse. All these are good. Proximity of angels was better because of sin. And when God created Adam, he never called Adam my son. Mm-hmm. Adam was his creation. Mm-hmm. Through the Lord Jesus, we have been called sons. So because of that, we are better than them. Yeah. That we even have been told in scripture, don't you know that you will judge angels? Yeah. Meaning at a certain time, men did not know that that would even be possible. Yeah. And the judging meaning that we can tell them what to do or some. The judging there is not punished because angels don't sin. We are going somewhere. Yeah. Keep reading. For to which of the angels did he ever say, you are my son? Today I have begotten you. Mm -hmm. And again, I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son. Mm -hmm. But when he again brings the firstborn into the world, Mm -hmm. he says... Let all the angels of God worship him. Mm -hmm. And of the angels, he says, who makes his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire. Notice there, there's a comparison between man, angels, angels, man, man, angel, the Lord, where he's ranking. Notice, because God made Christ or the God man, God himself reincarnating into the flesh, he named him son, and through him we received sonship also. Yes. Through that we have become better than what? Angels. Angels. Because God can look at me and say, my son, Lovi. He yeah. can look at her and say, my daughter. He can look at him and say, my son. He can look at that and say, my child. God has never called angels children. children. So by just virtue of relationship, by that grace of becoming his, yeah. we are already better because... Him being dad, it means we already have access to mysteries and secrets that they don't even have. Okay, somebody asked a question. This is a genuine question. If angels don't sin, what is Job? You misunderstood me. Me saying angels don't sin. Remember, I am not talking about them not having the inability to sin. The word angel means pure messengers. When they fall, they are no longer called angels. They are called devils or demons. The ones that left their place sinned. But I'm speaking about those who are in heaven. They don't sin. I did not say they are not able to sin. They don't. That is why they are called the holy angels. I hope that makes sense. So I'm not saying they don't have the ability to. That's a whole mystery by itself. Because God being love, he must give everything free will. Without love, you know, if there's no love, then there is no will. So God being loving, you have to be able to choose because that is the evidence of love. They don't sin, meaning they don't engage with sin. But I didn't say they don't have the ability to. I can't say that. But knowing scripture and seeing what happens even in Revelation, we know that they will never do it again. They learned from looking at Lucifer. They do have free will. I can even prove it to you in scripture. Okay, keep reading, Apostle. But to the son, he says, your throne, O God, is forever and Mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. Uh You have loved righteousness Mm -hmm. and hated lawlessness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you Uh with the oil of gladness Uh more than your companions. Uh And you, Lord, in the beginning laid the foundations of the earth, Uh and the heavens are the works of your hands. Uh They will perish, but you remain, Uh and they will all grow old like a garment. Mm -hmm. Like a cloak, you will fold them up, Mm -hmm. and they will be changed, Mm -hmm. but you are the same, Mm -hmm. and your years will not fail. Uh But to which of the angels has he ever said, Mm -hmm. sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool? Remember, you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. 
So you are sitting with Jesus, but angels don't even sit next to God. Yes. Are you getting? Yes. Keep, keep going. And they, not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister. Notice, notice that. Read that again. Are they not? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? Its salvation? Mm -hmm. Now, notice that. Are they not all ministering spirits sent to minister? And this is 14, those. right? Yes. To those who will inherit salvation. Yes. So angels are created to minister to you. What does it mean to minister to you? To help, to you, help you, to aid you in what God has given you to do. Yes. So to be ignorant of the angelic is to be ignorant of the help you have yes. for your ministry. I don't know if somebody is catching this. Yes, yes. That is powerful. Are, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. To be ignorant of angels, and notice he said spirits. Why did he call them spirits? Because there are many different kinds. Are you hearing me? Yes. Different kinds. Seraphims are not cherubims. Cherubims are not eons. Eons are not thrones. Thrones are not uh, uh, rulers of light. Mm. Rulers of light are not principalities. Principalities are not powers. powers. They are all different. Wow. All of them are different. They are not the same. So all of them were created for one purpose, to minister to us. Mm. Based on our assignment, it will determine what kind of angels God graces us to work with. Wow. And our awareness of them is also by grace based on what God has called us to do. Are you hearing me? Based on our assignment, like an example, somebody who is called to be a banker, to help people in the banking system, has no use of seeing angels. What's the point? Yeah. But somebody called prophetically mm. to know certain hidden mysteries may need to see what is invisible, yeah. may need to be instructed differently. Right. Well, somebody will ask me, what is the place of the Holy Spirit and angels? We will get to all that. Mm. But first, I want you to understand that angels are ministering spirits. spirits. The Holy Spirit lives inside of you. He's upon you. He's around you. If you have him. But that doesn't stop the work of angels. It doesn't. Mm, mm. If you look at the Lord Jesus' own ministry. And I will show you and you'll be surprised. How intimately his ministry was with the angelic yeah, realm. Strangely you'll be shocked. So the number one key is to understand angels' duty is to serve you. But their primary job description is in their name. But we'll go deeper into the messaging part in a second. That's powerful, uh, Papa. So mm -hmm. as long as you've inherited salvation, Mm -hmm. The angels are at your disposal. A hundred percent. But you don't know that. But you see, what you don't know also you cannot work with. Yes. You can't. Yes. 